Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Is it possible to have two quarter life crises uh, one after the other? Little Z. I'm in Rollerblades for this podcast. For our audio guests. Hello, I'm glad my good friend Zach has not turned into a fish. I had to feel up this morning. Not happy about oh, it. Not oh, happy one bit. Oh. Not at all. Uh, which thread do we follow there? <laughs> <I feel like, laughs> not <all> yours. <laughs> all of these require a lot of context, except for yours, Jackson. Mine is just, I don't like feeling like my car. I know. Yeah, everyone done. knows. We've heard yeah. about it. Yeah, I don't it was like cheap it. today, wasn't it? It was. I was driving does, Can we not talk <laughs> about the fuel? <laughs> <It doesn't, laughs> sorry. Hey, any, no. any of you listeners, if you've had a bad start to your day like Jackson, the Underdogs podcast will turn it around. That's why Jackson always fuels up before the pod, because the podcast itself refuels Jackson. Exactly. Enriches him. And honestly, changes your life, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And yeah. you can put that on a poster. Jackson's uh, fuel tank and his personal energy tank are inversely proportional. Oh, big time. As it goes down, he's happy, but then he has to fuel up again. It's back down. Again. But then this refuels. Okay, we, we actually have spent too much I can't time on the that's pet the one. Now. Yeah, that's the one thing we went on. Did you do the, the fish oil thing? That's what I was saying. You said... No. Oh, okay. Because last podcast, Zach... You're thinking about having five fish oils a day and seeing how uh, that goes? Yeah, and a whole bunch of these like supplements that my friend has. Yeah. So I'm going to try it for a couple of weeks and see once and for all if vitamins are a scam like Peter thinks yeah, or no, if they will do anything. I'm going to jump on the fish oils as well. I've been meaning to. I just keep forgetting because I, I actually got some. They're at home now. Ooh. I just have forgotten to take them. So I never part of, make it part of my routine. I didn't get a sleep mask either, so... And I didn't get fish oils. Man, we, we, we have not <laughs> held up to our promises. Bunch I of fellows. I cut it out of the last podcast as well. No, this is what we'll do. At the Genius. start of each podcast, <laughs> we'll make these promises again. Like, yeah. so, so this week, guys, we will take the fish oil tablets and the vitamins and that. So tune in next week to hear yeah. that. And we'll just keep doing that. Oh, it's like And everyone will teaser, keep coming back. Infinite teaser. Yeah. Oh, it's like in a TV show where like someone's ever going to die, but it doesn't even happen that episode and they keep doing next it. Next episode. Well, that, that could happen worst. too. If and then they have stay, like a flashback. Yeah. <laughs> if people want to stay tuned, there is a small chance one of us will die on the podcast. There is. Holly, Very small Holly chance. Holly was telling me about someone was in a cafe and got hit by a meteor and died. What? When? Yeah. When? when was this? Well, she told me two days ago. I don't know when it happened. I don't think this has ever happened. <laughs> it's so it must God. have happened. Well, that's I, the whole story. It, it must have happened because Holly told you. Yeah. What I've, if she yeah. told you you had chicken feet? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got Jordan shoes on. Jordan <laughs> <looks> on. <laughs> yeah, he wow. might. No, I, I think I know. I know one person in history has died to a meteor, but I thought it was some random in like Siberia, not in a cafe. Uh, well, this was two days ago, cafes, so you yeah? probably haven't got your stats. I don't update. know if they had cafes, but I'm not. I, I go. I could be wrong. I might be making this up. So you're know. in rollerblades, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Should we talk about that for yeah for the yeah. audio listeners? Zach is literally in rollerblades right now, and you're looking very tall. Um, yeah. Oh, I was going to say skilled in the blades. Are you taller than also, me now? No, I am not. He's no. not. But I'm over six foot. Let's go. Oh, that is a that is a big win. I was actually saying to Maddie this morning at coffee because I like I've been able to like look down at Maddie and it just like makes me feel so tall. I would get, get a bit of a confidence boost actually. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it. It's like the high heels equivalent for guys. True. I think that's platform shoes, but rollerblades is good too. Now rollerblades gets you like I'm like three inches taller. That's that's a f- more than that maybe. And I know what a difference three inches can make. Yeah. Uh, Oh, no. Great. (laughs) Anyway, uh, I've I've been in the rollerblades for the past four... This is the fourth day. Saturday was the first day, Mm. uh, which I I chose Saturday because I was going to a party that night, and I thought it would be funny to go to the party in rollerblades. So I did that. Did you get drunk as hell i did oh did you my eat God. shit uh, i actually did not eat shit i was what? G- that is had, so impressive. it was a basement party so i had to go down the stairs like every time i had to go like to and from the toilet or like getting a drink and that and there were these slippery stairs that took me like a solid stairs. five minutes to go just, up and down each is that, time is that just because you had wheels on Who yeah knows? okay yeah no, okay. no they were covered in soap <laughs> and <laughs> oil and <laughs> it sounds safe they really lubed up these stairs for me before i got there they should have put a wooden plank down on the stairs for you the yeah. stairs were just like mm. tile but, but for me like that was riding, very slippery riding down the stairs <laughs> <laughs> it's just ollie down them. Have you been mm. able to do much like skating around or is it just awkward walking? 
So I, I moved everything from downstairs in our house so that it would be easier for me to, like, skate between locations. Like, if I'm going to the kitchen or the stairs. <laughs> I noticed that, it was very, like, there was no obstacles It's very downstairs. clean, isn't so it? So good. Well, it's especially clean because yesterday it was raining all day. So I set up a bit of a racetrack at home so I could practice, <laughs> like, my crossing over my feet rollerblade turns. Oh. Because uh, I'm practicing for, if you don't know, me and Peter are having a rollerblading race at the end of the week. Yeah. So I'm practicing for that. It's my rematch from when he beat me in the rollerblading video. We <laughs> weren't invited, up? were we? No. no you guys we're, we're invited were for so commentary. Bad. Yeah, like commentary, yeah. You yeah, were you weren't so invited bad. to the race. If you're not a good player, just commentate. Yeah. You guys are commentating. <laughs> I re- I, my money's on you, Zach. Surely you've gotten so good. What do you reckon? Oh, my money's um, also on Zach. He would have beat me the first time, but he stacked it. So all he's got to do is, I think he's going to stack it do again, is stay on his feet. And after a week of practice, I'm sure he can do it. No, no, it's it's really like no. just me doing it out of spite. And it's like me spending a week preparing and like Peter's doing jack shit, which I think is pretty funny. Literally could have just said, hey, do you want a rematch without the week? And probably would have won. (laughs) But he's like, no, no, no. Rematch after a week of me and Rollerweds. I'm like, okay. No, my money's on Peter. I think all the pressure will go to Zach's head. Yeah, I reckon Zach might try something fancy. He might do like a 360 or like- (laughs) Pete, check this out. Yeah. (laughs) falls over. He's like a head by half a lap and then eats shit doing something stupid. That's in character. Um, But- I have been sleeping in the rollerblades too. Mm, hate that. Really bad. Oh, I, I might, like I might actually. Maddie? That would I hurt. might have to stop. No, I haven't. I haven't kicked Maddie yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty. Yet. I'm a pretty static sleeper. Uh-huh. I don't move very much, and I'm also really hard to wake up. Like I'll sleep through anything. So it's kind of been working out that way. But I've had some of the worst sleep in my life, and. My legs hurt every morning, so I might actually need to stop it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you need to get some kind of like foot support, like instead of yeah. just having them there, you need to like mold something underneath the feet, you know, and then yeah. you'll be a bit more comfortable. You might need like a um, like pillows, memory foam, memory foam pillow. Yeah. Wait, why feet. do the legs hurt? Well, Zach, uh, like, like, well, I've been sleeping back. on my side, and then it's like sort of twisting my hip in a weird way. Oh, That's been the, the they definitely would way. recommend that at the. Doctors. Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> yeah, the podi- uh, podiatrists in the audience are absolutely Furious. crying and shitting right now. The physios, everyone. Yeah, they probably don't like that I'm wearing rollerblades for a week straight too. My ankle mobility is going to be a Did bit you? grim. You know, it's actually, I when I wore a moon boot for like, it was obviously more than a week after I fractured my ankle, most of the recovery after that is actually getting the mobility back you get from just wearing the moon boot the whole time. Right. Oh, right. Like, like you, most of the recovery is undoing the damage that moon boot has done in the process of predicting your sure your yeah. break. So yeah, I, not good. If uh, you uh, get a chance, try and stretch your ankles out, guys at home. Have you gone and seen a doctor? I love that part of documentaries where they go to no. see the doctor and they don't recommend oh, doing yeah. it. Oh <laughs> yeah, I love that. Or like in Super Size Me yeah, or something. He's like, I don't think you should do it. And he's like, I'm gonna do it anyway. Maybe I'll film it after. <laughs> That's a great intro. I'll go though. to the GP yeah. on Saturday and be like, uh, "What do you think yeah, the health implications of me wearing rollerblades for a week?" And then he'll tell me all of them. Then I'll be like, "Oh, cool, I just did it." And then it cut. No, then it should just cut. That's you pretend that was before, and then it just cuts to you in rollerblades. Like, yeah, I think you got. No, nah, I think I'll just put it at the end of the video, and I'm just flexing to the doctor that I've already done it. They won't let you film in a doctor's office, will they? Or will they? No, they usually get some kind of special, special person. Uh, but it's like that. You know, they're always like, "I got this." health and fitness specialist yeah. actually like I went to a bulk bill doctor <laughs> and it was free at the local medical center and I filmed on my phone secretly why can't yeah. you film it I don't know probably just seems confidentiality like and sure stuff some it's viewer is a doctor and you could just get on a call with them Maybe. yeah you should definitely do a zoom call. call with some kind of <laughs> expert Anyone a mm. real expert? Uh, I'm getting a lesson in rollerblading from a local uh, I think that's tomorrow uh, or the next day so I'm getting that I'm gonna hit up the skate park Hell there's yeah. a there's a Perth rollerblading pizza night on Thursday night, so I'm gonna check that out as what well. What does that mean? They eat pizza and rollerblade. Yeah, there's lots of <laughs> you local solved it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of local rollerblading events. Dude, that really? sounds fun so, as hell. Yeah, I've sort of been joining a few groups and trying to. That's hit up amazing. Some, well, I'm going to be hitting up some community events. I want to. I want to go to rollerblading pizza night. This well, sounds you can't, fun as hell. You can't be practicing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you know what? Though? Maybe Ro- next week. Yeah. Rollerblading is actually so fun. Like, <laughs> Thank doing, God. doing the underdogs video kind of inspired this because I liked rollerblading as a kid. And like, I'll sort of talk about that a bit in the video. But then after the underdogs rollerblading, like I just had rollerblading on the mind. Yeah. And after like doing this, uh, I might actually use it for like, Maybe getting some camera shots because you can be hell stable. I've seen I've that. I've seen that in movies. Yeah. yeah. I've Did you seen see the one too. with the basketball recently that they put? Oh, there was one that was like 
some basketball movie and they're like following along the court and then they like go up a ramp that's on the court to get a higher shot. That's oh. cool. Stuff like that. But and they're, they're getting like towed right by someone. Like they're getting pulled along. No, this person was just skating. Oh, really? They were just going for that's it. That's dope. If you got good at skating, then you like just need to learn how to film mm. and you're like a very niche person, you know? It's a good talent. So. There's it's a, a skating shot skills. in Joker. I could be wrong. Oh. Where they like sorry. following the car. Ooh. Zach's actually training for his next job during this job. So when Zach becomes a professional cinematographer. You are that niche. <laughs> yeah. It's true. And then you're like, nah, I, I got a bit of experience in the field. I wore all those for a week. They're like, <laughs> get out of my office. Why? Any any questions about the rollerblading life? What hurts the most? Um, the like the top part, sort of halfway up the calf, this bit. Yeah. Like mm. anytime you move your ankle, that is like digging into either side. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, and, and then my toes. If I'm standing up for ages, like my my outside toes were killing me at the party. I had to like sit down because it was so painful. But every time I sat down, I started to fall asleep. So I had to like stand up before I fell asleep oh, each right. time. Yeah. I was like, why? And then I remembered drinking. Drinking. This was at like 1 a.m. though. So. Yeah. Do they smell? Do you reckon there's any fungal growth Well, that's I've happening? been changing my socks each day. Oh, you have. And double layering Cheating. the socks. That's good. Cheating. That's good. No, no I, I, guess, I get like a 10-minute break yeah, for showers each day. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I was worried that there was going to be some like organisms growing in there. Uh, Yeah, no, there's not. Well, that's your thread. Yeah. Let's follow Peter's. Um, okay, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, the second quarter life crisis. Uh, then, go back to the fuel if crazy. you want. No, not, 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 We've not done the fish oil as well. <laughs> not, not, oh. so, not so much uh, a thing, but. All right, so I was. I had this. I was hanging out with some of Sophie's work friends, and they are all quite young. Like, not like children, what but does like. That mean? Like, you know, somewhere around the early 20s, usually. Mm-hmm. Like 20 to maybe 24 in general, which oh, is 24 year olds. Forget about it. Jordan. <laughs> and how, how Young. old are you for context? I feel like that 27 turning yeah. 28. And Anyone that doesn't know. Uh, I realized that we, we've actually separated into our couches. Yeah. We're millennials and you're zoomers. Cause the cutoff is the, the you guys are two years younger than us. Yeah. And the cutoff is the year between. Oh, is it really? So you guys are Gen Zers and we're millennials. We're different generations. We're different generations. To Jackson and to Jordan? Ge- yeah, that's why I don't get them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's why exactly. We're the tournament play. <laughs> exactly. Fucking Zoomers. Fucking Zoomers. And <laughs> Oi, how's your TikTok going? <laughs> Terribly. Your brains are fried, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. I, I think I've watched the most TikTok here. Yeah, I don't watch TikTok. How's watch, your um actually I watch XQC React to TikTok. Anyway. What's a good what's, <laughs> what's a good roast for a millennial? Uh old. That's uh, the most Zoomer sentence I've heard, by the way. I would just watch XQC reacting to exactly. TikTok. Exactly. <laughs> that is actual. You are a Gen Z. Year hey, old how'd you boy just move away? I'm over there. I'm yeah. over there. <laughs> Jax is an old soul. I reckon Jax belongs with us. But what, what the thing that made me think about this was is that someone was like, oh, I didn't realize you were, you were a little bit older because most people don't because I kind of generally look a bit younger you than young, yeah. and your then, sense yeah. of humor is zoom humor. yeah also <laughs> i fair. don't really act particularly old because you know i don't have a real job yeah. and, and i think we're do. on the internet as well yeah i think that's got a big so we know okay and it. she was like this is one of sophie's mates she goes you're a millennial what the hell and then peter immediately turned to dust and, <laughs> yeah. and then she was like she like, just cuts out reverb she, she yeah. hits me with the i'm sorry but like today i went on like an hour long rant about how annoying millennials are and i was like people do that yeah people do do that people, like i'm not it, it's crazy to realize that i'm no longer the youngest generation of people that actually have valid opinions <laughs> true. Like when they're like five years old, you're just like, yeah, okay. Yeah. They're just being annoying kids. But now they're in there, you know, 25 is how old the oldest Gen yep. Zers are. They have a ex- long rant. They have extremely <laughs> valid opinions about the annoying shit millennials do. Yeah. And I was laughing my ass off at this rant about millennials. <laughs> so I'd never looked at my own generation with this thing. Because what was the if you, think, hit us if you, the if you think about the things about like boomers stereotypes, everyone's like, oh yeah, boomers, they do yeah. this. And it's like this. And then hearing that about your own generation from someone younger than you is insane. It's, it's quite the experience. So there was like, all right, let's see oh. which ones apply to us. Yeah. So like, not us, not us to them. <laughs> also, just for the record, a lot of them to don't me. actually apply to us because we're the second, like we're as just. young as you can really get with yeah. being millennials. I'm so like, zooming. 
we're, you know, on the tail end of it. So we're kind of in the middle. Cause I'm a few Ks over the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> Not a zoomer yet. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to split things into 20 year gaps because it doesn't just change yeah, yeah. on a yeah, dime. Yeah. It's you know, it's a, it's a gradual thing. Yeah. We just cut it off. But anyway, they were like, man, like when millennials, when they're recording a video of themselves, they always pause when they start recording to make sure it's recording because they're not used to it just starting to work. You know how the cameras go beep and then they start and yeah. then it starts going. It's I'm like we start lost. recording and we go, all right, guys, you go, okay. So, you know, there's always uh, a little pause before you start talking. I'll do that. What the, f- I filmed a video yesterday and I had to wait like a second and a half for my camera to start recording. Yeah, that's going to have a real camera. This is like the people no, who No, 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 this was themselves. on my phone. Really? Yeah. These people I like, on- to full context, I was trying to film my rollerblades and then my face on the toilet to show that I was going to the toilet in rollerblades. Wait, I'm trying to picture. Might not make oh, the okay. final cut. Full context, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, so I was on the toilet and I was filming like my rollerblading feet and then swapping to the selfie camera. Mm-hmm. So I filmed my feet for like two seconds, then I swapped to the selfie camera. Can Watch the like video a- back. It was only like half a second of the rollerblades. Ah, uh, so the camera had cut off the whole beginning. I had to go back and leave a little pause at the start. So sorry, Zoomers. You're fucking wrong. Yeah. Oh, God. That sometimes happens when I'm recording like a YouTube video. If I do the intro too soon after I hit record on OBS yeah. and then Craw's like, hey man. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's, missed the intro. it's more it's more zoom in to just start talking and if it just cuts a bit of you off, that's fine. It's less embarrassing oh. than having the awkward pause. I love True. the awkward pause. Because it's like you like oh. get your Snapchat and you're like, all right, guys. You know, you know that like little like, yeah. oh. and then you become animated? Yeah. yeah. So, you want to okay. be animated from the very start. Mm, I was thinking sense. just edited content because that's all I do. No. But no, no, no. For like the Snapchat so that I'd totally get that. So like that- if you're sending someone a voice memo, you know, it'd be like, because uh, it, it would be very boomer, you yeah. know, boomer to be like, is this thing working? Oh, I, love oh, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> let's try and give it a that's go. That's the boomer. We're the in between. Bo- we're the in between. We give it a little <laughs> pause. Zoomers, they're just like, so anyway, I was talking and they just, there's no They just delay. press the button and fucking hope. Is that yeah. That's TikTok, man. They yeah, can't yeah. waste a single past. millisecond of their life. They're like, scroll, scroll, scroll. But hey guys, I don't know. Scroll, scroll. It's, like, it's the short attention span. They can't wait that little pause. Well, that's the thing is like we, back in the day, we had to, you know, make sure your voicemail was You're right. already sounding old. Back, <laughs> back in, the in the day, we... <laughs> yeah, no, no. Before <laughs> everyone had... Oh, no. What's happening? Before, Peter, before, he's crumbling. Back in my day, every phone call cost 24 cents. <laughs> and it wasn't unlimited, so I had to get it right on the first try. <laughs> if my voicemail wasn't good, eh, I'm not starting that one. I'm going to do it again. And it's going to cost me another 24 cents. How can you get a phone call wrong on the first try? By not pausing. You're like, let's go to the park. They're like, the beach? You're like, yep, hang up. Oh! <laughs> Oh shit! No, <laughs> if you're leaving a voice message, and you know what I mean, like, you, or like, a, oh, you redo it. Yeah, Wait, you, voice messages mm. used to cost money. Well, it would it would cost money to leave a voicemail. Really, phone calls c- cost money. You're showing your age here, Jordan. Know. You're so young. I, I remember know. that actually. This is before everyone had like three G on their phone. I didn't have a phone growing up though. That's yeah, right. right. Wait, how old are you now? I'm 26. Yeah, so am I. Okay. So is this the crisis? Where's the crisis come in? It was just hilarious to hear. It's not really a crisis. It was just a bit of an identity crisis of just like me, like staring into a mirror and being like, what age demographic do I fit into? Was that your I'm not young moment? You lose your identity of young man. Yeah, but then I also, I don't fit in with people who are my age because I like have this like not real job. like, I hang out with people from Frisbee and they're like, I do accounting, I do this. And I'm just like, mm. you know yeah. what though, Peter, I think there's a lot of people our age that are in exactly your boat that aren't like being an accountant. They're like, Oh, well, what the fuck? Like, am I meant to be old now? Yeah. I think there's way more people that relate to you in that sense. So yeah. it's actually, you're just like a lot of people our age and very relatable because people are growing up later. You know, everyone yeah. used to have kids when they were like 16 and now people don't have kids till they're like 25. Yeah. So that's what I reckon. I reckon there's a lot of people in your boat and that's your target audience. Yeah, true that. But, uh, oh, do you want to hear another stereotype? Yes. I know I got really bogged yes. down on the first one. I would love to. <laughs> she, it was making me laugh so hard. She was like, why did you guys think that little cartoon moustaches were cool? It's not cool. What like, are these insults? Wait, do you like, not remember like this? Drawn on? Wait, yeah, do you remember like about? people would like, have a little tattoo of a moustache in their finger and they were like pretty hip. Oh yeah, on the finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, look, I've got a moustache. Like moustache, even for girls. Really? Bro, I don't really and remember And you didn't that. actually, it was, you know, it's these little wrong. black drawn <laughs> moustaches. That's before Jordan and I started. So you draw a moustache on your finger and yeah. hold it up to your face so it looks like you've got one. 
but it's not drawn on your face. It's, you know? it's like a little little. Hat. It's on your finger. Whoa. Here's another one. Uh, being cringe on social media, where it's like you just post pointless shit and expect other people to care. Whereas like Zoomers, they more curate what they post. Like this is more for people sure, who are okay. a little bit older than us, like more the middle of the millennial generation. So maybe if they're like 30 now, maybe 34, 35, yep. it's like, here's me doing my yoga. Here's my brunch. And it's like, nobody fucking cares. Yeah. You yeah. know, like uh, people nowadays when they post the Instagram, they care a lot more about what they post than we used to back in the day. Because <laughs> they're all trying to make it big time. We've, we've adapted. Yes. To not be just spammers, but a lot of people haven't. I don't know if you have friends like this. I don't know how you can no. be a spammer. I don't have the time. No, no, but the, the your bar is so low. You like you. It's easy. They yeah. don't have the time either. It just is bad. The amount of time I'm on Twitter compared to tweets I post is so like one sided, and I'm meant to be like the other side. I'm like quote unquote an influencer, so I should be like posting, but I'm just like reading everyone else's <laughs> shit, and I never post. And it's actually really bad. I should yeah. post more. No, well, don't Same worry with Insta. It. If you don't want to. Don't no, but like it, no, no, no. it is helpful as like a brand, as a content creator. Oh, right. It is okay. just smart. a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's smart to post like everywhere. It's yeah. good. Only yeah, it posted. is good. Last, last one I'll do. Yep. Thinking thinking like emo scene stuff was cool. You know, scene kids. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's like just... the insane hair. Yeah. Uh, I remember thinking that was quite cool, like, but mum didn't let me do it because I was too young. But this is still happening now. They're doing that. Just with no, no, but it was mainstream style. before. Yeah. What do you mean? No, like this specific style. It's like oh, yeah. that style. But now there's... Uh, like, I think I now know. it's like furries, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the new emo? <laughs> yeah, what? So. Are furries a new emo? I think so. Maybe. I think that's how it works. I think it's just like an alternative crowd. I don't think furries are cool though. Emos weren't cool. Yes, they were. Oh, I never liked yeah, emos. Dude, you were there. Old people. You <laughs> were there, old people. dude. Emos it was, it was were cool, cool to like, um, nah. like heavier music. And yeah, and like, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, I'm so grunge. edgy and deep. It's like, I'm 14 and this is deep was actually really cool. I don't think that's cool. It but was. It's not. younger. I didn't know that. Jackson, either. you don't get it, bro. <laughs> it's not anymore. It's a di- it was a different time. <laughs> it like, was a different time. There was like a party in year nine or like year 10 for us. Where like we dressed up as like a emo band as for like, it was like a dress up party. It was like Metro. Why well, everyone went? You guys are awesome. You guys are so cool. They were like, man, you look so cool with your black eyeliner. I don't and think make they him- said that. They did. Oh, I swear to God. I mean, I, don't, I believe them. I don't They're believe them silly. at all. It's like <laughs> man, just lying. Yeah, this, I think this, lying. this black edgy eyeliner makes your eyes pop. This is a crazy look for you, dude. I think they were being ironic with Peter. No, no. I think people thought they it was were cool. being ironic. Yeah, I was actually talking behind Peter's back. Yeah. I was <laughs> saying he looked like a loser. <laughs> Fuck. I'd, I'd, no, I'd no, eat... no, people did think it was cool. <laughs> it's crazy to think of because it's not cool, but it's because you're not in my generation. Uh. Yeah, so people thought that like hippies were cool and then disco and shit. Times change, man. Yeah, I know that. I, I think that people thought that was cool. So you can understand every generation except ours. I just don't think anyone... <laughs> I, remember, I remember... I remember... Oh, emo phase is a part of history. I remember and I it existing. See history and I do not remember written. them being cool. Yeah, I know because you're younger. The songs are huge. I chimed in. Yeah, but you that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what like the biggest. Yeah, the biggest rock stars look like. Like it's good huge. Charlotte and uh, like you I'm know my chem. I'm too young. I yeah. think if you follow the popular music, you can tell what was cool. Like it was disco, and then it was now it was rap. like my chem, yeah. Paramore, Panic at the Disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those guys. Yeah, yeah like Paramore. Now? It's good like Charlotte. they got Definitely. a girl singer. They're fucking crazy for that. Rock and roll. It's like it's, that was huge. Mm. Man, it's you, you. Jackson doesn't get it, so this is making me feel even older. I get every <laughs> single one of these. I just do not remember emo being cool. I know that's, that's because making it wasn't me feel for old. Us, Jackson. No, nah. that's the how it works. Uh, we're moving on. <laughs> you're saying you're in year ten. I would have been in year eight. It's like I still had a memory. Nah, you were like twelve. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> let's let's move on. I don't think Jackson's getting convinced. Oh, here. Galaxy leggings. Who? Oh yeah. Yeah. What is that? Do you think they were ever cool? Yeah, definitely. They, okay. I do not think they're cool anymore. Oh, they're really uncool. Yeah, yeah. But they definitely were for a while. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, right? Like, I understand the concept. How was that like cool? cool? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. What happens like when these things go out of fa- out of fashion and then they, just always they have like ones. they have millions of galaxy leggings left over? It's like the Yeezys. And it all goes into the... <laughs> we that? should keep the same style forever. They so always sold the JJ's, into... Zach. They go to JJ's. That's how clothing works, though. They just need to make a new one. I talked about this. Do you remember my theory of just... You just put hot people in anything, and that's how the fashion works. Yeah. yeah. And we all instantly agreed with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got to yeah. keep making new ones. It's crazy how the clothing industry is, like, big. 
This yeah. is like, let's make new clothes. Everyone will get these ones. Yeah. Now we've decided <laughs> no this sense. is cool. Oh, now. shit, my clothes are bad now, even though they're like work perfectly fine. It's yep. just like, oh, now they're out of fashion. It's like impressive how big it is. Like you go anywhere and there's clothes shops, even out yeah, in the country. They don't really do that with food. You don't see no. like, oh, you guys want to get pizza? It's like pizza's so 90s. I think because you need like, food every time anyway. Now. You need clothes. No, you just once. Huh? You need clothes. <laughs> Guys, does, does food go in and out of fashion? Uh, maybe to some extent. Yeah, I think lobsters. It's interesting. They used to not be in fashion and they made them expensive. Yeah. That's fun yeah. fact. Uh, not, not as much clothes, but I think that it does. Like um, everyone's doing mukbangs now. Does that mean that like... Shoes as well. What's something we could make is, that know. needs to be fashionable? Because yeah, shoes don't need to be and then they made them. What? what? Oh, what? Like something that everyone has, but we should make it that they need to keep buying new ones. Oh. That's how you get rich. Well, what's yeah. something that you always need to replace? Undies. No, they already did oh, that. Tidies used to be, tidy whities used to not be super cringe, but they are now. Yeah, mm. they've done that. And like briefs are super in. There was a while of boxes because, yeah. you know, like the, the gangster rappers with their low riding pants and boxes. Yeah. How were boxes ever cool? Uh, it raises no. the sperm count. What's cooler than that? Undies definitely have fashion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what's something else that we, microwaves? We can, yes. If you need it, you need a new microwave. Yes. And it's like, oh man, your microwave doesn't go <laughs> as it's cooking. <laughs> like, wow, you a loser. Yeah, yeah. Microwaves could be one. That seems oh, so just, annoying. Just picked up the new Yeezy microwave. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah, they should be sing Kanye songs as it spins around. That'd be fucking sick. Exactly. We've got them in already. Oh my god! And then you're like. Uh, I need to put this in for like three and a half minutes and it's got a Kanye song for each, for time. each amount of time. Oh my yeah, God. Like, and you're like, you really need to defrost a chicken. You play Runaway in its entirety. It's like nine minutes. Yeah. Like, like how long does this need? Oh, just one heartless. Put it in. <laughs> play it. <laughs> what about, you know how they have the like the <laughs> metal plate? Have, Jordan, are, you, are we in yeah, on this? New business. We email Kanye. Yeah. I, think, I think this is a winner. Just replace the, the glass plate with a vinyl. It's already turns oh around. Oh my that's God. That's so good. That's clean. And then for different amounts of time you just swap the vinyl that vinyl good. might melt mm. in a microwave i didn't ask for your opinion on this jackson, uh, well, jackson you're about your business. these, these are some I'm forward thinkers. Out. it can be this underneath is a, this is a 25 percent each business deal with me peter jordan and kanye west <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get invited sorry jackson i feel like a boomer I'm not yeah. understanding you light like bulbs that's a good one to have out of fashion because <laughs> oh, what do we have we have cool white and warm white which is just glorified yellow uh, yeah. where's the pink lights at where's we the blue more. lights at you know that's a good one uh you should get a multicolored one mm, it's i have that now. i've started using it it's not only a yeah, fashion though it's kind of it's cool but like it's not really it's actually good for youtube video filming that's which i've not used mm. yet but i, I feel assume like it will be <laughs> things in fashion have to be public facing like a toaster is a bit harder but whereas clothes it's you go out in public with it you know okay what, I mean? what about um yes. what, what, what about just your face Ooh. Nah, Peter well, had makeup. a better one. They've done that. Sorry, Peter. I was going to say cars. Yeah, cars oh, is yeah. always... Because, like, cars aren't really in fashion. They kind of just have utility. I feel like cars come in fashion. Definitely. Right. What's a car that's out of fashion? The PT Cruiser? The They're Beetle. pretty cringe. I don't know any of the names of anything, but, yeah, I guess the Beetle. Be- Beetles. So is that just because it's old? Yeah. Yeah. That's just retro. Everything retro. That's how cool. stuff works. Old clothes are old. Do you reckon Getz has <laughs> ever become cool? I think Gets nah. is sick. In like 30 years, it's like a retro Gets. Gets and we're like, damn. <laughs> Gets were in fashion for a while. That I thing think. runs on petrol. Damn. <laughs> damn, son. You know how Google's got like a million dollars? They've like, probably got more. No, they've got like... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you know how they've got like trillions? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they should come out with the Google Chrome. Cast. It's a car like that. Gr- they Google have Chrome enough car. money to make a Chrome car. Yeah, and well, they're like Chrome car. <laughs> Cars and then they're like, what? "What are you trying to tell us? What Chrome product cars. is this?" Or the Chrome Fast. Chrome Fast. Speaking of uh, differences between generations, Uh-oh. did you guys see Colleen Ballinger's response to her grooming accusation? Oh, that I was, that was quite that. something. Who uh, is that? I think I'm, I'm going to play a bit of it for you. She's a very it's, old school singing YouTuber. Do you know Miranda sings? I YouTuber. remember. She's like, no, she has lipstick on or something. Yeah. Vaguely remember that. It's uh, content <laughs> that, that good seems invitation. quite appealing to kids. Okay. Hey. Oh, I've seen the. F- I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. It doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. 
<laughs> so I'm going to stop it there. Thought, thoughts on the apology video um, song? Seems creative, but is, that the, is that the place? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've hooked. <laughs> this is sort of the chorus of the song coming up now. Oh, great. Okay. okay. <laughs> Should have changed up fun. there. All aboard oh, the toxic gossip train You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station She has a good voice. So, yeah, well, yeah well, she that's sings. kind of a channel. True. But it's... um. The song is Toxic Gossip Train. She repeats that a few times. I think it's the moral's good, honestly. If if it wasn't yeah. in this context, I'd say it was probably pretty good. Yeah, if it was I'm, like a parody that she just came up with out of nowhere. Yeah, if she wasn't being accused of things herself uh, and then using this to defend herself, I think I could be on board. I, I think agree. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm honestly on board. You're on board the toxic manipulation train. Dude, what what good is any apology video? They're all shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it might as well be at least interesting. Like if Jack was making a tier list, that'd all be an F. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's equal with them all. We've but seen a hundred people crying in the camera. I just don't care. Yeah, but in at least terms this is of like, like they're creating something that's interesting. Well, in interesting. terms of like taking accountability and like she might she should have just not uploaded this. I'll give you a spoiler. Why? In, in the 10 minutes, she doesn't uh, admit to a single thing. She denies everything. Yeah, well, maybe it's not true. And just like... <laughs> but Do you like, know what I mean? Why? It is a huge play. I mean, the, why, why? If, it's, <laughs> if it's not true and she fucking has done this... No, nah, it's pretty it's pretty good evidence on it being true. Mm. And I think the thing with apology videos, right? This is a tip for any of us getting falsely accused of anything because it's a real possibility when you're a YouTuber yeah. is... You want to admit some fault in things that aren't necessarily true to the thing you're being accused of. I hate this. So I'm so confused. Let's already. say uh, I hate this. Let's say it's like this yoga segment that is putting people in weird positions. Mm. You could yeah. say, "I admit that this was a bad choice of mine to make the segment. I didn't mean to make anyone feel uncomfortable, but now looking back on it, I can see that." This was a bad decision by me because you've admitted fault, but you haven't admitted that you're a pedo. Why but is there know, an art to apologize? There, there is because I hate that. There's Peter been is so going many to nail getting cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> there is so many YouTube what videos. What are you preparing the for? Peter? Is not going or you should do a bit of research, Peter. Actually, <laughs> it's just I just think this would be interesting mm. because people go and they fake cry and shit. And yeah. they they go the emotion, yeah, the emotional root, and a bit of so bad. On yeah, your opinion. exactly. You have yeah. to be authentic and be like, this was probably pretty dumb. So I see that it doesn't warant this kind of giant response, which is the only real defense you can have. Oh, I don't know. I would think. I'd, I'd rather think hear like, a song. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, that's what you get. Deep breaths. What do I know? Fuck me, right? And that's the end. Yeah. It's, but what it, do I know? Fuck <laughs> me, right? It's definitely lost me in the second half. Um, I was on board. Yeah, if you watch the whole thing, it loses you pretty it's fast. It's 10 minutes of yeah. that. You know, it's yeah. not like... I think we've got, when so she we've starts, got the TikTok version made it look a bit better. When she starts the like <laughs> the long like defense yeah. of like actually like explaining her side of the story while singing, it's just a bit much. I think you're probably right. The more I think about it, don't do an apology song. It's not good. <laughs> well, <laughs> bad yeah. time it's so inauthentic, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. It's so inauthentic. Bad time to say that. <laughs> Because I was going to get you guys to do your apology songs <laughs> now. I'm not doing apology What am I apologizing for? Let me go get the ukulele. I'll tell you what you're apologizing for. <laughs> oh, good. All right, go on, to do an apology song. Does this that, is a good idea. Does that sound like fun? Yeah, it sounds like Fantastic. a great idea. I can't imagine a better idea. All right. So. Look, this can get cut if it uh, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon exclusive. <laughs> Jackson's cutting it for sure. <laughs> Do you want me to give you what you're apologizing to? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I have nothing to apologize for. I'm perfect. It's, well, it's pretty bad stuff, Peter. So Peter can go first. Yeah. I want you to do a long uh, musical apology to that time that you kicked a pregnant panda bear off a cliff. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, you're going to hold that? Oh, it's kind of out of tune. Hold on. Oh, that's that's really important. That's awful. <laughs> It's a bit sad sounding, isn't it? It sounds... I guess that's a good sign. No, but the point <laughs> is, is that it's, and it's it's awkwardly upbeat. That's why it was so bad. That's true. It was like royalty-free ukulele music. <laughs> so he's dun, tuning dun. a ukulele while I'm having a conversation. <laughs> Someone writes they think it's funny that it's out of tune, and I've got to say, I probably agree. 
Is that not it? Yeah, that <laughs> sounds, sounds exactly like dreadful. Oh, no, 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 I got it, I got it. I don't know shit. Oh, there you go. That's much happier. I feel like I'm in Hawaii now. It's relaxing. I'm by the beach. Tell us about this I got panda, a pina colada. Oh, the panda? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, am I starting? <laughs> All right, here we go. I really like bamboo. It's really good. It makes oxygen for us all to breathe. And then I saw a panda eating it up. And I thought this one's <laughs> eating for two. So I kicked it in the belly. I don't know. This is really hard to rhyme. I knocked it off the cliff, but I did you a favor. Uh, I, it's probably my favorite flavor. Bears are mean. They've got big teeth. So that's why I kicked it off the cliff uh, to its death. That's it. I don't. I don't know what to fucking say. <laughs> yeah, this is the hardest Amazing. thing I've ever done in my life. I, I don't think you need to rhyme. She wasn't rhyming. She was just sort of just like. Wasn't she? Walking. She was rhyming. No, she had a few rhymes. You could just talk. Oh yeah. I don't expect you guys to rhyme. Sorry. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Unrivaled audio entertainment moment. <laughs> 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 All right, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, have fun. Um, <laughs> have fun, dude. <clears throat> I can apologize for not coming to your events. No, you are apologizing for when you pranked a retirement home causing several shock-related deaths. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Tried to come through the door and surprise you. Couldn't quite get it right. Ended up giving those oldies a fright. So sorry about that. An old lady crapped her back. <laughs> That's the end of my apology. Please don't ask for another one from me. Not bad. Oh, the rhyme. Thank you. <laughs> you got to say, fuck me, right? Fuck me, right? Who knows? Or whatever she said. I didn't write one down for Jordan. Do we want to come Bars. up with something that he's apologizing for? Yeah. Thinking um, that ants are the superior species. No, no, no. That's they not are. something worth I would never apologize. Let's <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> Won't. Maybe he, like, enslaved a whole bunch of humans. Because it was optimal. A, and dressed them up as ants, like a fake ant farm. Okay, yeah. In your basement. Oh, Jackson surprised old people. I've enslaved people. Yeah, maybe you don't have to enslave anyone. Well, Jackson didn't really address the heart attack deaths. Yeah, yeah. well, that's a good apology. An old lady yeah, who's dancing on the topic. It's implied. So I've enslaved. How about humans. you. No, no, you joined a group of Somali pirates and uh, attacked a cargo ship. Yeah. What? What if. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing we'll to commit. apologize for. Yeah, I'll apologize for that. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing to apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, you should apologize. You're right. This is unscripted. This is a raw. This is the worst this is segment raw, of all time. It's a raw apology if that happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> Minion game shaking his boots right now. <laughs> I'm sorry for joining the Somali. I thought I was going to Hawaii <laughs> <laughs> on a nice cruise ship, but then it all went to shit. <laughs> I had to just join in. I didn't know. They were gonna kill him. I thought we would just steal their stuff, and that would be it. I said that's enough. But then the pirates shot her head. <laughs> They're all lying dead. And I apologize. That's. <laughs> 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 That was pretty good, Jordan. That was a great Thank apology. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to have to oh do an apology for those apologies. <laughs> this is next week. Do you want me, should I do an apology for the segment? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Wait, you guys got to... Low key, you though. Play the thing. I kind of want another go up to see. <laughs> <laughs> as I'll play it for you. Um, okay. Just hold it tight and stroke and it'll be good. Right? <laughs> try it, try it. Come on, <laughs> Bro, I don't know how to use it. Yeah. Pick. Oh, my fingers. Just, yep. Give me something to apologize for, John. Uh, segment. Well, are we apologizing for the segment? Oh, do you want me to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it might be funny to do. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's me, Zach. Coming with you with the Underdogs podcast. <laughs> I thought this week it would be a little fun to try out a segment. And I came up with one. 
So we were talking about the YouTuber Colleen. I thought it might be fun to have a little sing along to the ukulele, but it ended up putting you guys on the spot. I might apologise for that, but I will not. (laughs) Because I thought that the segment was actually funny. If we get more views on the podcast, it'll make us a lot of money. So I'm not going to take accountability when I'm improving this podcast's profitability. Wow. Oh, Maybe. What's I mean, the opposite I mean, of an apology video? That was the opposite. It's like a double down video. Yeah, yeah. I'm not apologizing. Double down song. Has anyone done that? A double down video? Not a double down song. This might be a first. I think that might usually be a first. people get accused of things worse than what I just got accused of. A bad said. Yeah, said. if any of you guys double down, down on that. <laughs> Somalian pirates. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. Um, Fantastic. Take this thing away from me. This yeah. is the most god awful <laughs> 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 Thank you, Erosion. The Ar- Arbiter? Uh, yeah, I guess the original was a double down video. You're right. I, I think Jordan's apology was the best. It in was both bars, bro. Rhyming, like the, the lyricism... And in heartfelt apology. Jordan, no, you've I think learned Peter had a good point. To improvise. Maybe. A, what do you I mean I had a good I point? I think was, it was slow. It helped. Yeah, true. I think that saves me. It's as fast as your brain. Exactly. Goes. So it worked perfectly. Um, <laughs> all right. Here's a few questions. So if you're on our Patreon, <laughs> sometimes I ask something and you guys get to our ask questions. Our first viewer question from last week is, can you guys do your own apologies <laughs> based on the Colin? Oh, shit. We just did that. So Thank I, you, whoa. viewer. Oh, wow. What's making Jackson laugh so much? We have a we have a TV with the live chat from the stream on it, and he keeps glancing at it and looking at everyone just shit on the segment. <laughs> he's just not did. happy with this he, segment. He's looking at it, and there's all these like emotes of people covering their eyes and shit and blocking <laughs> their ears and saying it was horrible. And Zach's like, "It's a great segment, guys." We look <laughs> I think at the, people are gonna laugh. We look at the live <laughs> feedback, and it's just like, "God help us." The only supportive thing is Reggie Miller saying, "Use it for clickbait, maybe." <laughs> <laughs> I, all I ask, at least include Jordan's. Yeah. I think include it. Yeah. That was great. We'll see what happens in the editing room. <laughs> we'll I can't what control happens. what happens in there. G- guys, if you wanna if you wanna join the live chat, uh, join our Patreon and you can submit some questions for what we're about to yes. ask right now. All right, so I asked for questions about life, which is very broad, but people did ask about life because there's plenty of different sorts of things yeah. in here. What do you think will be more sustainable in the future? Underwater cities or colonies on different planets? That is a sick question. Mm. I love that. And it's about life. Well, probably not underwater cities. So you think We're colonies kinda, on different planets is going to be well, easier? I don't want to be grim, but like... Depends on the planet. The Titanic submarine was like a little glance into how little we can go to the depths of the ocean. Mm. Yeah, it's like, pretty grim down there. Like, it's real fucking True. hard to... And there's not that much, like, shallow real estate for cities. Is okay. there? What's the point of an underwater city? I think we're just running out of space, but we're not going to do that, are we? We'll d- I, we're going to build in the middle of the Sahara Desert before yeah. we build in a we're underwater. Gonna, yeah. Global warming, ho- we might get a few underwater cities accidentally. True. That's true. Like um, Venice, that's that's going to be underwater. But the whole point is like, yeah, a meteor comes, go somewhere else. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any purpose to underwater cities, so I'm going to say not that one. Yeah, so the different planets? Yeah. yeah. We're in unison. What was the punchline for Jordan's joke? I keep wondering that every day. Oh, from the which this joke? is your place, hey. <laughs> the, I could demolish the, this place. You get yeah. the laugh you lose video. Oh my oh, god! Should we wait? Honestly, what, what happened? Because I don't really know. The your la- <laughs> the you laugh you lose video. Know. Okay, I remember it quite well. I watched it back. Uh, Jordan walks in. <laughs> Jackson's sitting there, and Jordan just wearing some kind of hat. And he goes, "So this is your place, a." Eh? And then Jackson laughs, and that's it. And I then just... he goes back, and then he comes back in a different hat and says. Oh, so this is your place, eh? The Jackson laughs again. He never gets to his punchline because Jackson keeps laughing too early. Jordan's too funny. That's and then the, and that's the we gist never of found it. out. And it's like, so these are your place, eh? I could demolish this. Yeah. And then he laughs and again. And then he laughs again. So we got a tiny bit more of the context. <laughs> I think my idea was I was going to start like using a little hammer and trying to like knock down Jackson's chair or something. I think that, that would have been pretty punchline. funny. That would have been pretty funny. I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Guys, you can't ask these questions because it'll never be as good as what you're expecting. Honestly, that what was funny to me was just Jordan and that's it. Yeah. Did you guys see um, Ian and Anthony re-bought Smosh? Oh, I did. I did see that. And they posted a, a like an original style Smosh video yeah. like two days ago that I watched. Got me thinking about Smosh because we 100% copied their, their idea laugh. for that Try Not To Laugh oh, video. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, they're back. That's crazy. Yeah, if you don't know, Anthony Padilla left Smosh for like seven years and did stuff on his own channel. Right. And should we say that if you don't know, because it's so long ago, but Smosh used to be like the number one yeah, YouTube was, channel yeah. oh, in really? the world. Yeah. And it was just these two guys who would do skits. Yeah, and they've uploaded a new skit. And it, it is very, like, is very similar to what they were doing like seven years ago. What kind like of things s- are they doing? I don't actually know. It's like silly sketches, like a bit of over the top, like humor and like, over the top reactions, overacting, sort of. slapstick, right, like sure, making okay. a mess, like silliness. Like this recent video was they're trying to buy a Taylor Swift concert ticket that are sold out, and then they try to get new ones, and then they accidentally summon a demon. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> silly, silly. And that's really, it. it's very <laughs> silly. It's just very silly. Yeah. It's, it's the kind of the. It, I think what was so appealing about it is that it's something that you feel like you would make with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very like inclusive, feeling. especially like because it's good for all eight, like an eleven year Everyone old is probably it. the target audience, yeah, honestly. Sure. But yeah, it's kind of crazy that their new sketch feels very similar to their old stuff, but then it's like there's like a seven year gap, and it's like. Does it still fit in the current time? Well, I think that they're new, they're getting like nostalgia viewers, which yes. is a good, yeah. at least in the short term. I don't know if it's a sustainable model anymore, though. That's what I was. I'm very interested to see if their sketches like evolve to be being like something sort of different in the new format. And uh, I, I like Smosh, so I'm all about it. Because surely they got bored of that format in the first place and gave up, right? Well, it, they they got like pushed out of the company by it, the companies buying them out oh, and being dicks right. about it and stuff. It was a whole thing. They yeah. sold the company and they only just rebought they bought it, it back. off. Yeah, from Retin Link owned the like parent business that ran Smosh. Yeah. So they bought it back off Retin Link because they were like friends. And but it, they sold them. it for nothing. They really? got basically scammed in selling it. Oh, what? Shit. Yeah, did you oh, not no, know that? Yeah, way back. Not that's to Retin Link. No, no, no. Well, they didn't own it then. Someone else sold it yeah, to Retin Link. They didn't get any oh, of the money. Oh, that's brutal. They, they sold it for stock, which is only worth something if the company goes public and the company never went public. Oh, so they it's got like, fucking yeah, they got rolled. mega screwed over. Yeah. yeah, that sucks. And they had to Jesus buy it back. When are, we, when are we selling underdogs and then buying it back later? Are yeah, we getting stock? Because I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe not. turns out. Damn, they could have made a huge amount of money. Um, yeah, what's, what's something L. that is like on the cusp of going like dead, like Blockbuster? It's that's it's gone. Dead. That's no, no, dead. I know, I know. Oh, right, but right, like, sorry. what is what is now the cusp? The new one, like the, the Facebook. Worst. <laughs> it'd be yeah, games. yeah. If Facebook's like we want to buy underdogs for Facebook stock. Are we hitting a decline on that? Yeah, fellas? That, that's not a good yeah. investment. Well, Facebook is now got a lot of different things. Well, they're meta, the meta now. Verse. Yeah. So it's probably actually I think good. I think meta is crumbling. Is it? Mark Zuckerberg is flopping his little Nothing lizard has come from it so far, tail right? over everything. I haven't heard anyone enjoying it. What? Have you? Meta? The metaverse. Well, isn't it Instagram? It's they own Instagram. I like Instagram. Oh, Definitely. It's Instagram. only people... Yeah, meta is a bit of a... The metaverse is kind of... Stupid. Metaverse and meta are different things. It's like meta's the parent company and the metaverse is there. Oh. It's all too confusing, it's isn't very it, Jordan? Confusing. For us Zoomers. Yes. Wait. Should we move on to the next uh, question? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, with Peter frequently touching grass and enjoying nature altogether, what is a life ideology or philosophy that you have or you think gives you a better perspective on life? Don't say listening to the podcast because I already know that it better oh, my life. Oh. Uh, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think I have a better out- outlook on anything. People just keep asking me. Uh, but like, yeah. do you have do you have like a? I think it's. Stinger? I think the question's more like you are saying you should touch grass and enjoy nature, and that's making you happier. Any other sort of tips and ideologies that you've applied? Maybe not. Ooh. Everyone he's saying like that's Peter's. What is everyone else's? I think. But also, if you have any more, no, no go, for tablets. Go, go for it. Go for it. Other people, man. Um, no, I can't testify to that yet. I haven't. Started. Mine would be unplug sometimes. Ooh. Mine would be just focus on jujitsu enjoying yourself or try and treat your life like a video game. I find My that life is like a video yeah, yeah. game. I find that fun. Yeah. Like, My what would you do in Sims? That's what I always ask myself. Uh, go to the toilet. What would you do in Sims? Yeah. Because like, the Grim Reaper. You can't do that in real life. <laughs> Just drown in a pool. Yeah. Take, yeah. take the swing. What's no, no, no. Like, if you were in Sims. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't played the Sims. This makes no sense. Ah, uh, damn. What, what would you do in Sims right now, Jordan? Yeah, this is fun. But he's at work right what, now. What Sims. bar is this feeling? This is filling my um, money bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make money in fun way bar yeah. and hang out with friends bar. Social. Nice. Social. You get like three bars at once, so you know it's a good thing to do. It's pretty OP, yeah. 
Mm. I'm okay. also uh, filling my restroom bar at the moment. I don't need to go anymore. Oh, because very- <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the thing is, when you play Sims, you don't get sucked into anything because you're like an outside observer. Yeah, like, sure. I never play Sims and make my Sim just scroll Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can True. do that in the Sims. But you, there's the option. You're like, well, why would I ever press that, dude? You know, how, like on the in the Sims, you can play the Sims. You're like, why would I do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Why would I do that? So funny. What if you want a friend to scroll? Instagram with so you set your sim up to scroll Instagram then you scroll Instagram oh Whoa. so you don't feel so bad <laughs> yeah so, so you're sad. like not lonely that is really sad <laughs> um, so there you go there's some good tips Zach, do you have one um, I would just say like try to make your reaction to things like positive at f- like first instinct positive and then you know how like per- everyone has gut reactions that's just like negative a lot right and it's like they don't consider like the other side of the story or like additional info try and have I a reckon, positive like have a first. have an open positive mind yeah i heard and something. i'm very guilty of not doing this i'll say <laughs> like not doing it is something I you aspire to, to. Yeah. yeah i i heard a really good saying that re- that reminded me of which is um you can't control your first thought but you can control your second thought oh Damn. so like Ooh. if, if you, you're like you can't help your reaction to something but you can control how you think after that exact first moment, yeah. you know, so yeah. you shouldn't yeah, feel like bad about your back. first reaction. Like, let's say, you know, you have a random thought that's not very nice and you're like, hmm, do I stand by that? You know? Yeah. It's like the emotion comes first and the reasoning comes after. Yeah, you, you can, you can Control think about that reason. second part. Do you reckon you have good time management? If so, how do you do it? Do you still have find, do you still find time to relax without having to stress about uploading new videos or anything along those lines? Peter, you always have a day off on Friday, which is good. Yeah, but apart from that, I'm fucking dreadful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm dreadful. <laughs> I, I'm not in the position to give anyone tips on time management. Bad. Me, bad. You? Uh, yeah, I think just have a schedule. Jordan's oh, good. And then that's it. <laughs> this is an advice I actually got from a Jordan Peterson thing. Oh, which yeah. It's controversial to say, but he had a really good thing when he was like, <laughs> you can make a schedule and it's like, first of all, just block out the time that you definitely can't do like that's guaranteed time mm-hmm. and then from then on just try and make it as enjoyable as possible and what that should mean? be the main wow. focus what do you mean block out time you can't do like if you've got like actual work like oh you work somewhere oh. block that out block that out then you've got all this time that you can work with and be like okay what things do i want to do how could i make each day like as enjoyable as possible Wait, that sounds terrible though what? because i would just choose to do all the fun stuff and then i'd never get the important stuff done no, but that's no, what the you're, blocking you're out put is. the important stuff first. Yeah. And then just make it as oh. enjoyable. Like still, like also schedule in enjoyable stuff is the kind of the takeaway. Yeah. So put in an hour to watch a show or whatever. It makes yeah. Or like if you like enjoy hitting the gym, be like, I'll always hit the gym. At like at least these, like still think about that instead of only writing down on your schedule. Like there's this shit thing to do. There's this shit thing to do. And then you look at that and you're like, oh boy. Yeah, he's a, he's a big fan of reinforcing the good the rewards of yeah. what you give yourself. Mm. So it's like, you know, if you say today I'm going to clean my room and then I'm going to have a coffee because I really like coffee. He's like, once you clean the room, you better get that fucking coffee or it's not going to yeah, feel like, worth and it. And that it's should like, almost be part of the ske- like like your d- schedule as well. That's think just it's like, as important. I don't really need to have my reward. It's like, no, he's like, get that fucking coffee. You, you need that yeah. shit too. So that's, that's, a, that's cool. a good take. I, the thing that works best for me is trying to do like the little annoying things first. Mm. Then I feel so good having like overcome that hump that I can just like do the stuff that takes longer. Like if That's it's like, great I tip. have a lot of editing. It's a great tip that I like, don't do Apply. that. One myself. <laughs> yeah, There's no, always- I hate when I don't do it. It's like one of those things as soon as you do it, like if I have a day mm. where I've got some annoying things and I smash them out and I'm like, oh fuck yeah. yeah, boy. But then when I don't, it's just like the whole day goes to shambles. So for me, I've started doing these, like some some bigger videos that require a bit more prep and I'm like really unorganized. So doing like the planning stage is often pretty like hard for me. Mm. But then like, for example, yesterday I had to like, I had to call these people back. I had to like respond to an email and I had to like go get like a sponsorship done. Like, like little annoying things when I'm really excited to edit this like video. Yeah. But then I got all the annoying stuff done first and then I just like felt so good and like, I was like happy you. when yeah. editing instead of this like cloud over my head. Yeah. Like True. I should be doing this other stuff. Cause it's like responding to like an email should get done like first. You want to do that stuff like soon so that they can respond back. Stuff and then like you that. don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah. Or yeah. like booking in things for dates. Like I was booking a rollerblading lesson and like had to that's awesome. Uh, do stuff like that. But yeah, so that's what I say. Momentum when you're doing work <laughs> is very powerful. Yeah. I gotta say like, if you can um, do one thing that you can finish, in 15 minutes 
and then you have something that's going to take you three hours. Do the 15 minute thing first and you'll carry on so much momentum into the three hour thing. And maybe you do two hours of it. That's great. You know what I mean? And then you run out of steam. But trying to do the three hour thing from nothing when you have no momentum is so grim. Yeah, I feel like it compounds in like the reverse way because when I like have a bunch of stuff to do and then I'm like putting it off and then trying to do something else and then I'm thinking about the other stuff and I'm just like, man, this sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Something I've heard is if you can do something um, in less than two minutes, do it immediately. I found one about someone wants to start working out, Peter. Go. I was going to (laughs) say... I feel like you get this question a lot. Let's fucking go. Yeah, they're, they're always like, I want to start doing X. And it's like, what do I do? It's like, do, do it. it. Go, go. <laughs> do the X. And you know, then like done. the Nike um, slogan, just do it. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're onto something with oh, that. They really are. Style of I would say, like, do it. literally force yourself to do it for like two weeks to try and build like a habit. Yeah. And then, like, if that doesn't work, then oh. But yeah. like, habit, habits are very effective for humans. We're very yeah. habit based creatures. Habitual. Yes, great word. Um, <laughs> do it. <laughs> right. Love you guys. Also, 300th Patreon here. Do I win anything? Yo. A lemon. Uh, you win a million dollars. Just click the link and get, receive <laughs> your prize. Send us your BSB. I think we said we do something at 300. No, we said 500. Something Jackson related. What? Shit. Are you trying to put him on the spot here? No, I no, 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 no. I remember you said you were going to do a dance. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought we were going to do some kind of exclusive. Jackson I'll do that if we know what it is. We get 300 is a pretty good milestone. We'll think of yeah. something special to give the patrons. All right. Like a show. Yeah. So recently. You can give I t- a show if you want, Jordan. <laughs> what kind hey of show? Um, hey, episode 69's already been, guys. <laughs> 71 now. Ah, uh, well, no burlesque. So recently I took a semester off of college. Let's go. Good and originally call. was planning to go back to school next year. But there's this girl. We've been friends for a long time and have dated in the past. But she needs a new roommate. Oh, hello. Ooh. My college is a 14 hour drive from where she lives. Now my oh. dilemma is not that I'm considering going to. No, now my dilemma is that I'm considering not going to college and moving in with her. No. Yes. What? Study you, what online. You? Woo! What do you Fuck guys it. think I should do and why? <laughs> nah, move in with the girl. No. You only got one shot of finding a soulmate. College can last. Move you in. have college a million online. shot. You're going to meet so many hotter girls at college. Whoa. Controversial. Peter, he is friends with this girl. He knows her personality. Maybe she's the one. And I'm saying but she's it's probably worth a not. Shot. Bro, you're gonna feel like such a moron if you don't work out in a year and then you just don't have your college thing and you're just like no, working try at studying fucking. Online. What about a, that? You know, yeah, but Peter, he's McDonald's. gonna be he's gonna have his fancy shiny college degree and get some job and he'll always be wondering what that if girl. Yeah, and then he can what call if? her. She's not fucking going anywhere. Nah, but she what might. if she gets railed by someone else? Well that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what if, man? What if? <laughs> While you're t- fucking getting While your college getting degree, degree, I'm getting no, it up. He, he's going to be railing other people. He's going Who to college. Knows? We she's don't a, know what he's like. She's in a house Maybe 14 hours from anything cool. Yeah, what's the Maybe context? He's Christian. He could be really ugly and he's like really punching with her. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Wait, so- Oh, he's hot. He's hot. <laughs> How <laughs> tall are you? <laughs> Does he even know if she likes him or he just wants to move in He's as He's dated in the past. So you're, oh. you're on, on and off relationship. Don't be hanging around for an on and off relationship. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I okay, didn't hear so that part. Oh. We've been friends for a long time and have dated in the past, but oh. she needs a new roommate. Nah, get out. Oh, it's, sorry. Like, it's, oh, it's just no, roommate. No. You're, you're there to be just the eternal cuck when she brings other people yeah. home. Oh, that could be way you're worse. You're going to be like, yay, we're roommates now. And she's like, oh, yeah, this guy's coming over. I it's thought fucking, they had just started. Him. To dating, yeah. not it's like they banging have... on the walls this, from the this other is room. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> doof, 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 doof. Oh, that is very oh, different. Oh. I thought, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> yeah, I thought it was we're friends. We've just started dating. Do I just leave? No, but no. Just dated in the past, still friends. She's looking for a roommate. Missing college He's looking for, for a, a second, hopefully. Yeah, chat. don't do this. This is, this is a huge no. Yeah, I think we all kind of agree in the end. Or yeah. I would say, big play, just ask to be dating and then decide. Yeah, yeah. Ma- give her an ultimatum because you're, yeah. you're getting ultimatum by time anyway. Don't get cucked. You know what? Fuck it. Propose to her. <laughs> That's good. Well, if you're going to move in, you're clearly like betting on her for life. So why not just, why not just do it? Oh, propose. The worst thing she can say is no. <laughs> <laughs> Go propose to her in the middle of the mall and... <laughs> All right. <laughs> then she can't say no if it's in a public place. I assume they're renting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So then you're not committed for life. Well, if you propose, you, you are. Every, oh yeah. If you're giving up your college dream, you're kind of giving up for Just life. Just do it online. I went to Melbourne and studied online, played Smash Bros in Melbourne. That was fun. Yeah, doing those kind of things when you're 
young adult is worth it. You got time not, I, I don't think to doing this is worth it, but I think if you wanted to move there regardless of her. How old are they? They could be a 45 year old mature age student. Uh, I guess that's true. I just assumed. Just be obvious. Ask. <laughs> Who's looking for a roommate at age 45? Hey, <laughs> in, in which case, like never too late to find the one. I still say go for it. Here's my take. I think that there are you have millions of soulmates potentially because of just the odd numbers game. Yep. Yeah, one in a million is still like one in a lot. There's still a lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Do you think there's such thing as a soulmate? Uh, It depends on your definition of it. The one? No. No. There's many. Everyone's just very lucky they get born next to them. It's God's plan, bro. (laughs) What the fuck you mean? So That's Holly's great. not the one. She's just one of the ones. She oh, listens this to a, this, remember? This is a bad take. Yeah, I, yeah, she's... We've become the one. I think you've become the Ooh. one. Oh, oh, oh let's go. Oh. He's a PR genius. That's fucking great. Yeah, you know? That Build might have together. been the most intelligent thing you've ever said <laughs> on the pod. Wait, do you want me to cut our applause out? and we'll just No, just no, keep like, that in, please. Oh, okay. I think we just end it. We pop the pirate and we finish the podcast oh, on pop the Oh, there we go. Do I get to, I get to pop, pop the pirate? You a great answer. By the way, uh... This is what we're doing now. <laughs> <By the> way, <laughs> every week we add a sword to the pirate. One time he's going to pop. Wait, yeah. is it popping it bad or good? Bad. Popping no, you win. You no, win. You, we you win it. if you pop. Otherwise, why am I yeah. getting to pop for yeah, being If you good? have the best thing, then you get. If you pop so it, I'm you're trying the best. to kill him. Oh. Oh! oh!